Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you my version of goulash. I remember growing up, we could actually get this like from um, the Schwann's guy. I don't know if anybody ever had Schwann, Schwann's, Schwann's, whatever it's called. It was like a food truck that would come around and you could, um, it was all frozen stuff and you could purchase stuff off of it. <clears throat> and I don't remember exactly what's in that one, but then I, for some reason I feel like this is how we had as a kid. I actually need to ask my mom if this is how we had it, but this is what I do. This is an extremely easy, cheap meal to kind of just throw together. It's really good. It's really good the next day. Um, I kind of try to do it um, every so often just so we have tons of leftovers. So all you do is I have one to one and a half pounds of ground beef, um, or you can use turkey or chicken, whatever you like, deer. Um, I have one box of elbow noodles. And then I have a large uh, can of the petite diced tomatoes. And then I just add whatever seasonings I have. If I have onions, I'll add onions. If I have garlic, which I have garlic, I'll add garlic. And then I just add whatever I would like. Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, whatever. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ground, or I'm going to brown my hamburger and then I will drain it and then I'll cook my noodles and then I put um, the tomatoes in and let them sit and do their thing. So I'll just show you everything once it's getting together. All right. <clears throat> All right. So I have my ground beef going. My noodles are done and they're just sitting in a strainer. So I have some frozen onion. I and mean, this is the best thing you can buy to have in your freezer. Frozen onions already popped. I can just add as much as I do. And then I chop some garlic. I can use already chopped garlic. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna let that cook just for a few minutes until the onions are, you know, thawed out. They will cook more once we add everything in there and let it simmer. I'm gonna let that cook for a few minutes and then I'm gonna add my tomatoes. Okay, so now you can smell the garlic and it smells amazing. I'm gonna add the tomatoes. At this point, it is completely up to you what you wanna do. I'm gonna add some salt, some pepper. I have Italian seasoning. I already have garlic and onion in there. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of sugar. If I'm using just canned tomatoes, I always do sugar because it helps take away like that acidy flavor that it might have. <clears throat> All right, so I'm actually fixing this way ahead of time. This is a quick, easy thing. Like you could just throw the noodles in here and just let them sit for just a few minutes, just so that the noodles can soak up all that juice. Um, but I have some time, so if you do have time, let it sit as long as possible. So I'm gonna let this come to a boil and soak away. All right, and there you have it. A very simple, easy, quick, dinner night meal. Let me know if you make goulash and how you make it because it's kind of amazing how many different types of varieties are out there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.